How is Ming Li different from the other characters and why the dog hates the cat? Why did the author make him different? In this lesson, you will learn to contrast a character in a story by asking how do his or her actions differ from the other characters? So let's review. We've been reading Why the Dog Hates the Cat, which is a Chinese fable that was written down by Norman Hinsdale Pittman. So throughout the text, characters, neighbors, family members, animals face big problems around being poor and hungry, and they tend to treat each other rather poorly in trying to solve them. We also know that great readers are looking at words, thoughts, and actions of different characters throughout the text. And they're asking, how do these characters' responses shape the story? What one character says, does, and thinks, how does that change um, the story? And specifically today, we're going to be thinking about the differences or contrast in characters' words, thoughts, and actions in response to the challenges that they face. In order to do that, we'll follow these steps. Reread the text, noting what a character thinks, says, and does. Next, we'll ask, how is this character different from others in the story? Then we'll ask, why did the author include this character? And finally, we'll summarize how and why a character is different. So let's take one more look at our question. How is Ming Li different from the other characters and why the dog hates the cat? Why do you think the author made him different? In order to do this, we're going to look at two key scenes in which Ming Li participates. So we'll be jumping between the beginning and the middle of the text. Let's dive in. So reread the text, noting what a character thinks, says, and does. So looking at the first scene, Ming Li and the Widow Wang are starving. They have no food or money, and the widow is very upset. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my text here. We've looked at this part before. We know at the very beginning, the widow is complaining. She's very upset. I want you to, uh, to highlight Ming Li's response. Oh, the gods will provide. I'll find a few pennies somewhere, replied the boy trying to speak cheerfully, although in his heart he also had no idea in which direction to turn. In the next paragraph, we see that he's lost his job, he's been extremely sick, he's hungry, and he continues to look day after day after day for a job. So we notice a few things. One, that he says something that's very reassuring to his mom, that gods will provide. But I see that he follows that up with action. I'll look for a few pennies, and he does. And he does, and he does, and he does day after day, even though, let's look at a second piece of text. I'm going to read that. When Ming Li came with a dark cloud overhanging his head, the widow saw plainly that disappointment was written here, right? He says reassuring things, and he looks for work, even though inside he feels disappointed and he feels discouraged. Those are his thoughts and his actions of determination. And then in this middle paragraph, she shows him that they finally have food, and his first thought is not, oh my goodness, I can eat. But let's look at the highlighted text. Thinking his mother had gone stark mad, Ming Li stared solemnly, seriously, with care. Right? So I see he reassures her, he looks for work, and then he cares about her before he chows down on the food. So let's go ahead and write that down. Adding that to my chart. So next we need to look at, after the beetle is taken by the Jews, the Wangs again have no food and no money. So Going back in the text, we see great was the yelling and weeping when on returning from the fair, hungry for a hot meal, the widow found her treasure missing. She went back to the little box in the cupboard ten times before she could believe it was empty and the room looked as if a cyclone had struck it so long and carefully to the mother and son hunt for the lost beetle. So what we see here is that the widow Wang, great was the yelling and weeping when she found it missing, right? So the widow is yelling, but sometimes what characters don't do and don't say helps us to understand. And in this case, I see that Ming Li doesn't say anything. He's not making things worse by complaining and crying too. Instead, he takes action. He jumps right in and helps her hunt for the beetle. So in his lack of complaint, um, and his simple action, we see a lot about Ming Li. I see that he's feeling bad, but um, that he is really action-oriented, that he's really doing something rather than crying or complaining. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. Ming Li searches high and low for the missing beetle, but he doesn't say anything to express being frustrated or upset about the misfortune. So now... We need to ask, how is this character different from others in the story? I'm going to do that by using my notes from today and using my character response chart from yesterday. 
So your notes might look a little bit different than mine, but we know that yesterday we looked at how when faced with challenging circumstances, characters in the story, specifically the widow Wang and the Jews, responded with lots of words and very few actions. The actions they did take were things like complaining or stealing, that is, they acted poorly when faced with challenges. So now I need to ask what difference do I see in the words, thoughts, and actions um, of Ming Li. And with Ming Li, I see that in the face of challenges, he works hard um, to find a job, to look for food, and to the beetle. Um, and that his words are used to encourage and not complain. He doesn't say a whole lot, and the things that he does say are in concern with his, for his mother or reassuring to her. So now I need to ask, why did the author include this character? So I know that author has included a character who's different for a few different reasons. To move the plot forward, to create a twist or a mystery in the story, to teach the readers a lesson, or to provide humor. This isn't a mystery, I can cross that out, it's not funny. Even though Ming Li is important, he's not the one solving the problem, so I think the best response here is to teach the readers a lesson. Norman Pittman wants to teach us that not everyone acts poorly in a hard circumstance. Let's jot that down. Norman Pittman included the character Ming Li to show that in hard times, not everyone acts poorly. In fact, some people, like Ming Li, work hard and encourage those around them even in the worst times. Last, we need to summarize how and why a character is different. So again, we're answering the question, how is Ming Li different from the other characters and why the dog hates the cat? Why do you think the author made him different? In Why the Dog Hates the Cat, Ming Li has a much different response to challenges than the other characters. Rather than complain or act rottenly in response to challenges, he offers kind words and takes action. When his mother is worried about what they will eat but unwilling to act, Ming Li goes out and searches for work even though he is ill. Norman Pittman probably included Ming Li in order to show that not all people act poorly when they are in challenging situations. In fact, some people like Ming Li work hard to support those who, who they care about even if they are feeling down. In order to draft that, we reread the text noting what a character thinks, says, and does. We asked, how is this character different from others in the story? We asked, why did the author include this character? And we summarized how and why a character is different. In this lesson, you have learned to contrast a character in a story by asking how do his or her actions differ from, other, from the other characters.